This is the construction that goes on in my backyard every single day. Today is a Sunday, so there isn't any worker over here and that's why there's a bit of peace and quiet. But every single day, the noises that this construction produces and the irritation that comes along with is something I need to deal with while I'm working or video editing or whatever, reading. So I went ahead and bought the best tech available on the market, which is these sony headphones and in this video i want to tell you if these can help me preserve my sanity amongst all of the noise that is generated because of that construction sound take a look around look away at all of this all of that yeah you're mad you arrive by your own design yeah, you got fire in your eyes and you're mad okay so first up i am not sponsored to give you the information i'm about to give you that means, that means no affiliate links, no communication with Sony. I am in no way incentivized for you to buy this pair of headphones. So with that out of the way, here comes the bad part. Ready? When I first got these things out of the box, it was very confusing to me as to which one of these USB-C looking microphones was actually the charging port because as I show you here, they all look the same. They're all looking like the actual charging port which is right there next there's very little space in these ear muffs for my ear now i really don't have some ginormous sized ears and i really don't want to make this a review about my ears this is a review about the wx wh1 wh1000 x this is a review of the wh1000 xm4 and there isn't enough space for my ears in these ear muffs now i have these pair of QC35 is the Bose QC35 is lying around and you can see right there in the video you can see how much space there is for your ears you know right there it's just you can see all that space right over there and with these it's just it's just not there I mean it's finding it a little difficult to show you on the camera but it's just it's not spacious for your ears oh but wait there's more Anytime this device tries to connect to two different sources of audio or two different devices, it just starts freaking out. I mean, it starts making these beeping sounds uh, to let me know something. I don't know what it's trying to say, but uh, it's not very frequent, but it just goes beep and I have no idea what that means. And then there is another sort of a beep that it does and I have no idea what that means either. It just feels like some sort of a hostage R2D2 situation, but this thing I don't know what it's trying to say to me with all these beeps but now what I've started doing is I just play it really safe and I just try and connect it as much as possible with only one device either my laptop or my phone. Speaking of which here's another one. If you want to connect these devices and put them in Bluetooth pairing mode to connect them to another device, how do you think you'd do it? The way you do it is you press this button, god damn it focus, you press this button, you press this for 3 seconds to switch on the device and you press it for seven seconds to then put it in pairing mode. Now, here's some simple mathematics. Three comes before seven. So if you have this thing turned on and you want to put it in pairing mode, you have to first switch it off and then it goes back into pairing mode. Here, let me show you, let me. On the Bose QC35, this whole setup is quite easy. If you want to power on, you get this button here. If you want to put it in pairing mode, you push it a little further on the right. And if you want to put it back to sleep, you just put it right back. Genius idea, right? Now, is it possible that I can Google around and look into the software and figure all of these things out, especially with the beeping noises as to what it means? Yeah, it's possible that I can do that. At this point, with these headphones, I'm finding myself having to fuss about and especially at the price I paid for these I don't think I should be needing to fuss about okay okay wait so does this thing actually do anything good does it even solve the question that I had asked initially does it help me preserve my sanity given everything that I hear on a daily basis given the construction that happens outside every day the major thing that I love about this is Noise cancellation is the reason I bought these headphones and these things are crazy good at that. 
when you put these things on it just completely drowns out the sound i mean when you have the headphones on and there is nothing playing and the noise cancellation is on you can hear things that are going on around you the construction sound the noises of people at a cafe in a very very dull minute sense but especially when you start playing something or listening to something on these at least for me my brain just completely zones out all of the noises that are there around me and i can just completely focus on what i'm listening to the audio quality is fine it's nothing to write home about it's it's good enough that i didn't put it in the bad section of this video let's just leave it at that as for the battery on these things that's pretty good i use them for about 2 hours in a typical day and i'm left with 70% charge by the end of the day so i just charge it overnight the mics on these things i haven't heard an audio sample of this recorded and played back to me but at least the zoom and google meet calls that i'm on the people i'm talking to haven't asked me to quit at least not because of the quality of these microphones so that's my glowing review of the microphones i want to close this video out by talking about the competition while i was buying these products i was also considering the sony wf 1000 whatever whatever the earphone version of this and the reason i didn't pick them is because i was told by multiple reviewers that these have the best noise cancellation available on the market even better than the earphone versions of these and those were a compelling option because the size of those things is much much smaller than this ginormous gigantic thing on the other hand the airpods max had a similar story where those things were about twice the cost of these things in india at least everybody who has used the airpods max has told me that the audio quality on the airpods max is superior much better than anything they've heard including these but the noise cancellation is still better on these and you can pretty much imagine the airpods max is not going to have the same software problems as this because apple products generally just have a tendency to work out of the box from where i stand i'm about to buy the oneplus buds pro because i heard them in a store and the noise cancellation that those products have is surprisingly good given that they're just tiny little earphones and of course they don't have the problem of these things where when i put them on you know they make my ears just complete ovens so they are much more comfortable and i plan to use them in lower noisy situations things like you know if birds outside or I'm out in some traffic or something like that it's a little bit easier on the ear and I don't need the kind of noise cancellation that these give me so the answer to the question that I asked at the beginning of this video do these headphones help me keep my sanity given all the noisy situations that I'm in the answer is a hot irritating one device only yes Sony please fix the names of these things in case you couldn't tell it's the WH1000MX4 and I just cannot for the life of me remember the names of these products every single time I get confused here WH wireless headphones I understand that I have no idea why you have a thousand in there and I have no idea why it's the XM4 I assume the M is for Mark 4 but I have no idea why the X is in there here's a better name WH4 wireless headphones these are the fourth edition way, way out here on the top.